Oh, she's the love of my life. Well, that's the joke. Holly met my wife. I always said I found her stealing hickory nuts on the other side of my hickory nut tree in the back of our, our farm. Our farm, <clears throat> our 100-acre farm down home where I grew up was adjacent to her grandfather's farm. I am Peter Wayne Jacket Hill. I am over 80 years old, and I've lived a full, active life. I was born May 8, 1939, just a few months before the Second World started, Second World War started, um, and I'm, I guess, what you'd call a, a, a World War II baby. My wife and I uh, got married on May, uh, excuse me, December 10th, 1960. We have been married over 62 years. As as we retired, as as years gone by, I think we're as close or closer together now than we've ever been. I have had, uh, oh, I would say probably th three distinct careers in my life. I feel that one of my signature achievements in my life was developing and building the Fort Erie Friendship Center. We were very busy, very active, but most of my time I spent was developing and making a strong foundation so that our Friendship Center would last and endure. I'm pleased that after I've been out of it now for, gosh, almost 20 years, that it's going strong. From 2004 until now, I've been re retired. I became a snowbird. I lived in Arizona during the winter with my wife from January to 1st of May, at which time I was very anxious to come home because I'm a, a gardener uh, and I've been raising a garden every year in the back. Um, I'm a poet. I've got a lot of high-class poems. One of them is uh, My Grandfather's Garden, which in relation was my grandfather, but now I am the grandfather, so it's, my, it's, grandfather, it's still grandfather's garden. My love of writing and reading. Well, <clears throat> when I grew up, I grew up in an authentic log cabin. There was no electricity, no running water, bathrooms out, outside, there was no TV, and uh, I was a history buff. I loved history, and I, and I would read and read all the history I could. I liked writing because I think I do a better job of, of explaining and describing things than I do orally. I've got a little booklet that I call Thoughts and Sayings, and all, every now and then a, a thought will come to my mind and I'll jot it down. Family, the importance of family. I've always stressed, and I don't know whether it comes from the generations behind, behind me, that uh, family is the most important unit. Family, family comes first. Uh, that's where your personality, that's where your character comes from. But most importantly, you should know from where you came from your ancestors. Because if you don't know where you've been, you don't know how you got to where you're at, and you certainly are not going to know where, where the future, where you're going. I guess the biggest joys of being a parent, and maybe I'm wrong, was that you realize that your bloodline is going to continue. That, you're gonna, that you had grandchildren, and now even great-grandchildren. I guess the best advice I could give to my ancestors is to have a wide open mind. Do not have a closed mind where you're boxed into a narrow box canyon that you can't get out, mind-wise. Mm -hmm.